What's going on, guys? Neo here with some Brink gameplay. And uh, this is some campaign footage. And this game is all about multiple players. Playing with friends, playing objectives. That's what this game is about. This is Brink, by the way, like I said. Playing through the campaign, multiplayer campaign. Everything you can do in this game, you can do with friends. And it's a nice added touch. And to expect this game to do... Anything more than that, I think, is expecting too much from this game. This game is supposed to be catered around uh, playing with friends and getting into matches quickly, getting them done quickly, and shooting a lot of people in the face. And I think for that, Brink does things pretty well. I, if you're going into this game looking for a story, a heavy-driven story game, or a Call of Duty-type experience, well, you're not going to... Uh, like this game very much. That's one thing I will say. And if I could sum up this game with a few words, I would say that this game is very intense. This is a hardcore niche type of game. First person shooter, a hardcore niche uh, shooter that focuses on team play and objectives. As I get down to here, if, if a medic um, is around me, they can hand me a syringe and I can get back up. This is not a Call of Duty experience. It's not supposed to be, and you're going to see some reviewers out there who are not going to like that very much. I, and I, for one, love the fact that Brink is not about Call of Duty type multiplayer. In fact, it does a lot of things that Call of Duty needs to fix to me. Um, for example, in this game, melee is not very effective. Thank God someone has been listening. On top of that, grenades aren't very effective. Thank God. That's all I have to say. Uh, you take a lot of things that a lot of shooters over the past couple of years have been, I think, messing up on. And and Brink says, screw what other shooters are going to do. We're going to do our own thing. And for that, I love that fact. One thing that I will say that Brink does amazingly well as well, is, is as you can tell you right off the bat, is it's... A hard game. Um, you know, we're playing on the hardest difficulty, even on the normal settings. If you were to go at these campaign missions alone, which you can, uh, even that presents itself a challenge. And so, again, this is not for... This game is not a casual gamer type of game. I, I will say that. It's a more hardcore shooter. It's pretty intense. The bots in this game, the AI, is fantastic. They, they just light the hell out of you very, very quickly, very fastly. Fastly? Did I say fastly? Wow. Great grammar there. Uh, very fast is what I wanted to say. Um, yeah, even even myself, the English major, sometimes I screw up with my words and my spellings. You know, I'm not perfect. Um, but uh, as you can see, I'm just getting my ass handed to me here by the boss. Thankfully, we had a couple medics on my team. I was running with uh, two of my buddies here, and that's one of the things we were, we were doing uh, early into the morning today as I went to the midnight release. We just hopped into these campaign missions, into the challenge missions, and played the hell out of these uh, multiplayer-wise, and we were enjoying ourselves. Didn't play much of the multiplayer 8-on-8 eight eight itself. It was a little laggy, though, when we got in it, but uh, the more we played it, um, the lag seed iron itself out. But let me get back to my tangent here that I was, uh, that I was talking about. Uh, I was talking about things that Brink does really well. Like I said, melee not very effective in this game, although you can slide on the ground and knock people down and sort of utilize that as a melee, but the actual melee itself, not very effective. Uh, grenades, not very effective. It's all about uh, shooting the enemy, using the terrain, uh, sliding around, and um, you know taking advantage of, of your opponent's, uh, I guess, dumbness, uh, out, outsmarting them, outwitting them. That's, that's one of the things that this game requires you to do. On top of that, this game has uh, remarkable customization features. Some of the best I've seen out there in, in terms of the, the shooter market. Um, you know, when you level up characters, um, you know, you get better apparel, better better shirts, pants, uh, headgear, uh, tattoos. I, I mean, the customization for your character is amazing. And then once you get uh, some challenges done by yourself, um, you know, you can mod up your guns. You'll get things like front grips, silencers, red dots. And thankfully, someone has finally listened to me. You can put up to four attachments on your guns. Hallelujah. Someone has listened for once. You can actually put more than two attachments on a gun. Thank you, Splash Damage. 
I want to give you a hug. <laughs> so, needless to say, these guns here, are, you know, as you can tell, aren't modded up fully. I don't have some of the attachments for it, but I can tell you I'll be running silencers, red dots, extended mags, and probably something else on my gun. I mean, oh, and probably a front grip. I mean, front grip, silencer, red dot, think about that. Thank you. Thank you, Splash Damage. Give them a hug, please. We need to figure out where these guys are at, and I'm going to hug them. <laughs> that is, like, one of the best things ever. I will tell you that. I'm just ecstatic. I'm, I, I guess what I'm saying is, this game, it's not going to wow you in terms of graphics. It's, it's not going to wow you uh, in terms of every other little shooter that has been out there uh, in this day and age. Again, this is not Call of Duty. It's not trying to be... This is, I, I guess what I, can, what, I, what I can equate this game to is it's a mix between Shadowrun and Team Fortress 2. Uh, it's very similar. There's classes in this game. I'm running the operative class, hence you see me hacking this safe right here. The operative class is the only one that can do that. And, uh, you know, you rank up fast with each class. You try to max out their skills. And, you know, you pick different, uh, different characters and you play around their play style. So the operative can can, um, you know, hack things, they can, um, basically change their clothing. You saw me earlier in this video pull out this iPhone-type looking application thing, and basically you have to hold an X over your, uh, enemy's bodies, and you can then, uh, change your clothing into their clothing, and that's some of the things that the, uh, the operative can do. And then you have, like, the medic, who obviously revives teammates, buffs people's health, um, and you have other things like the Heavy, who is very similar to Team Fortress 2's Heavy, where they are very slow in movement and carry big guns. And then on top of that, uh, you have the Engineer, who repairs turrets and, and other stuff. And I mean, the classes here are great. Um, it's very reminiscent of Shadowrun and Team Fortress 2. Um, and for that, I'm pretty happy about it. And like I said, don't go into this game expecting an amazing story or anything Hollywood-esque um, or, or pretending to be that. This, this is all about... Hopping into online play, uh, playing with friends, and, you know, just playing the objective. That's what this game's about. It's a hardcore niche type of game, like I've said. I've said that like three times now, I realize. But um, that's what this is, and for that, I really like Brink. Um, you know, some of the downsides, like I said, there's been some lag here and there in the multiplayer 8 on 8. Um, what else can I say? Um, some people complain about how quick it is to rank up your characters, but I think I think the theory behind that is to use all of the characters in the game, not just be suited to one character. In fact, you can have two characters saved at all times. So there's basically two character slots um, on your hard drive. So if you want to go um, the Rebel side, which is the side I'm on now, you can have a class save for that. If you want to go Security side, which is the side that I'm facing against right now in this campaign against bots, you can do that as well. So, I mean, the rank up is is meant to be quick. It's meant to get you through, customize everything, um, soup up your guns, stuff like that. And you can switch sides whenever you want. And I think it's it's great. And uh, this is one of those games where you just hop right into and play and just get on with your friends and and have a good time. I think one of the biggest things that I'm sort of disappointed with are the graphics. Uh, I'm not really big into graphics. I, I much prefer gameplay over graphics, but, I mean, the graphics are kind of poor. Some of the textures are bad. Uh, the gun models, though, are fantastic, as you can see. Um, the guns look awesome, and even the way the guns handle are awesome. Every gun has a unique, distinct feel, especially when you customize the guns with different attachments. And you can really tell that whoever programmed this game knows what they're doing, and they have OCD. Thank you, whoever you are, <laughs> whoever programmed this game, uh, the creators at Splash Damage. Again, I want to hug you. I want to give you a giant hug, and I want to thank you <laughs> for the little things that you get right in this game. And I've, I can't say that enough. And uh, <clears throat> mysterious floating briefcase there that I was carrying as I die. Um, but expect more footage of this from me. Um... You know, game's not amazing, but it's great. It does little things well. You just pick up and play. You have a blast with friends. And um, that's that. Again, don't expect anything more than that. And for that, like I said, I love this game. So, again, um, you know, you're going to see a lot of footage uh, from me on this. I'll be going through all the campaign missions with uh, with friends, you know, playing cooperatively. I'll be doing 8-on-8 eight eight multiplayer against humans. Um, like I said, the campaigns you go through against bots. Um... I think you can go through against, uh, you know, P 
people across the world as well, though, too. I, I have to look into that. There's so many things you can do in this game in terms of playing against bots, playing against actual people, um, the different ways you can set up matches. I mean, there's just so much here, and I need to get into um, figuring out what all, what all you can do. But as far as the 8v8 ob objection... Uh, or objective game types go. I will be hopping into that soon and recording some gameplay. Uh, the uh, I think it's called free play in this game. Free play is basically your versus multiplayer, and I'll be I'll be covering that here very shortly. Uh, but for now, I'm going to be going through customizing all my weapons, getting a feel for all of them, playing through the campaign, and seeing what else this uh, you know what else this game has to offer here. As I vault over cover, and that's one thing I, I should mention as this video closes. Um, the movement system in this game is called SMART, uh, Smooth Movement Across Random Terrain. It's a great acronym, it's a great name, and you can vault over walls, you can wall run. I haven't really utilized it much, this is really early footage, and I was kind of a, a rook, you know, in terms of the movement, but uh, some of the future gameplays that I'll show you guys, I'll show you some wall runs, I'll show you some, um, some sliding takedowns and some other things that you can utilize, but that'll be... Uh, in future gameplays. Uh, unfortunately, as this video closes, we don't win the objective. I think we were a little overwhelmed at this point and loving it so much. We were like, oh my god, we're just getting nailed by the the bots. What's going on? What's going on? You know, uh, this game gets really intense against the bots. And unfortunately, we don't win. Um, I will have footage, though, in the future here where we, uh, you know, we will get through this campaign, like I said, successfully. So, look for that in the future. But overall, I really like this game a lot. Uh, I'm gonna, you know... Dig right in and play even more. Again, this is a hardcore niche game. If you're into stuff like that, um, like me, I love hardcore niche games. Um, you're going to be right at home here. And we get a nice little cutscene to end this as we lose, unfortunately. But uh, that's all for now. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you think of the game, what your experiences have been. But uh, for now, I will see you guys. Take care. Thousands of movies and TV shows stream directly from your PS3, Xbox 360, Wii, or PC computer. Click on the link in the description of the video for your free one-month trial membership, courtesy of NextGen Tactics.